It's the wind from blowing your thing away, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I bet everybody can figure out where we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got First the... First time for me. Philip oh, never yeah. had one. I've got bought... a video on how to make them, though, so I'm going to totally make them. So easy. We yeah. bought all the ingredients. Now, do you toast the coconut, like on a cookie sheet or something? Uh, yeah. so, so it's a toasted coconut and sea salt mixed together. Okay. Oh. Hang on. Let's let's it. turn the camera around to the star. And we just do like a reposado um, um, tequila, okay. and then fresh lime juice, and then cream of coconut. Which I did get that. Yeah, and yeah. make sure that when you do the cream, cream of coconut, you first put the cream of coconut in a blender and blend it up fine. Because it separates when it's in the pan, so you want to you oh, gotcha. immerse it so that it you know, kind of blends well. It's shaking it in the can first, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's oh. true. You did that on yeah, that looked good, actually. You're, you've got a good blender. So this is Chef Deborah Scott, everybody, from Costera, Ventana, the whole Cohen restaurant group. It's amazing. And Marie, um, D Marie Daniels is watching. Um, Roxanne, lots of people are getting on. So tell us a little bit about what's going on and opening. Aww. Hi, Mario. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that's super cool. And we need to support our local m musicians big time. You know, some of the some of the places are opening with live music this weekend. So that'll be interesting. Well, we'll be looking forward to hearing you, Mario. Absolutely. So tell us more about what's been going on. So on your kind of reprieve, you did a few little updates places. Up. <laughs> She provided the flowers for the backdrop <laughs> from her garden. <laughs> okay. So the, that's better for you? Breathable? Okay. I mean, I know they were more political. No. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, so I like that. So, um, anyway, so we've been readying ourselves and getting our team all ready and training them on all the protocols, what to do. And then we get health inspections and come in and they check behind us, but we feel like we're in a very good shape. So I'm excited uh, to uh, get going. And, and be back to work, to right? Work. I mean, this is your your passion in life. So being home with the doggies and the birds and the kitties and yeah, I got a menagerie there, but um, I enjoyed that. You know, for a while it was good for a while. Now right. I'm ready. I'm yeah. ready to get back and um, get back into my regular routine, which uh, I enjoy. So. Well, you've got so many fans watching that are saying hello to you. Um, so everybody, don't be afraid. We need to now come out and support our restaurants. I mean. We are trying so hard all week to go, you know, let's go out to eat, let's go out to eat. Yeah, but you know, it was interesting. On Tuesday, Candor opened for the first time. We were the only ones inside. Yeah. There were people outside. There were people outside. And again, beautiful protocol. Last night.
distancing and everything. I think it's. I think people are getting kind of accustomed to. I'm not nervous at all. This is the first time we've yeah. been outside. We ate inside every other Yeah, night. last night we went to the Wrench and Rodent and they did a, like a little remodel and kind of fluff and folded and got the seating different. Um, but with your restaurants, oh my gosh, you've got the most beautiful outdoor seating there could possibly be. And what about over here? So, what about your events? How are things going with the events? Weddings and. Thank God. I mean, just driving yeah, in too. today, I was just so thrilled. And to watch the rolling list of everybody, you know, all the restaurants this week that were opening, yeah. and I was like sharing it and posting. I'm like, oh my gosh, everybody get out and support our amazing chef Deborah Scott and David and Leslie Cohen and the whole crew and staff and everybody must be thrilled to be back to work. But you guys have treated them so well all along. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, that is so fantastic. Well, we're thrilled and we love you and you have to come to Casse de Poulet and have me cook for you. I will totally cook for you. That would be fun. I really... I can eat the chickens. I was just going to say the yeah, they're fun. The crazy chickens. They are and hilarious. when we first got the chickens, Jan's our neighbor, and I was like, Philip, whatever you do, don't say chickens out loud. Like, and then the chickens were making noise. I'm like, don't make noise. Like, I was worried I we'd get in trouble. Don't say chickens. Don't say chickens. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. Every morning. You know, one day on a video, you know, there's a sign that actually says, Good morning, Mother Cluckers. It says that. And I say every day, Good morning, Mother Cluckers. And somebody said, Mary Beth, I can't believe you just said the F word. I go, I did not say it, I swear to God. Actually, when her, could have slipped. It might have slipped. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> I have to do a video of me preparing my uh, parents' meal every morning. I bring Sky, one of my parents, up with me, and he sits on my shoulder while I prepare their meals, my two parents' meals, and he'll sit on my shoulder and I'll go, no, I love you, or I'll go, he just does all these cute little babies, and, you know? and, but I have to put the nuts and the seeds and the pistachios in his, uh, in his little bowl before he gets up there with me, otherwise he starts biting my ear because he oh. wants them. Oh, so it's like, you know. But he's that patient enough to sit on your shoulder uh -huh. and not dig in to yeah, the tree? Uh huh. Sit there, but like I said, when it comes to the nuts and all, I have to do it before he gets up there. Oh, that is adorable. I've, I've already experienced the, you know, the piercing. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, everybody's saying hi to you. Um, Gwen. All kinds of people are saying hi to you. And it was funny today, I got to go to the hair salon and Tirza, my hair gal, she goes, I go, guess where we're going tonight? She goes, oh my gosh, I was just daydreaming about when my friends come to town, the first place I'm taking them is Coast Terra. Well, make sure that, um, give them my cell number so that I can make the rest of Oh, them. you're amazing. Anytime, please, I, I, I encourage people to do that. I have it on my cards, I have it. You're the best. I mean, and you're so responsive and during this whole like, 
lockdown, just being able to chat and with each other and see that everything is good. And I know. I went out and got that everything bagel. Well, that Philip got the everything bagel um, seasoning to put. Um, I don't remember what item I was. I don't know. Um, no, but I did learn how to make spring rolls. I'm kind of pumped about. I'm getting better at my formation. <laughs> Although I think I fired myself as a sashimi chef. No, no, no. Yeah. You did a great job. I'm like, yeah, I'm fired. <laughs> you know, the first couple of times they were a little torn and clunky, but after, I mean, the last couple of times they've been really good. Yeah. Uh, I But she look oh, how pretty her mask is. Almost, you made that? You know what she made me today? She made these beautiful hanging things, Chef up that are tree art with all kinds of beads and crystals and yeah, like really pretty. She apparently is, yeah. But really, really pretty. And her backyard has this gorgeous, like huge um, jasmine with a scent, like all kind of zen and meditation. Yeah. And she's the one that also supplied us with our limoncello, our, our, our lemons. Mm -hmm. The lemon tree is still producing. Yes. So we've got limoncello, kumquat cello, and orange cello. The orange cello has turned out really well so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just have to limit that simple syrup stuff. I don't like stuff sweet, you know. You, it has to be enough, though, to not make it bitter. Well, and it's funny because people think that it's just because they substitute agave syrup that it's better. And it's not. It's still it's sweet. Actually, it's actually even worse because it, it has, does have more syrup content because it's possible. Yeah. Oh. So, Interesting, huh? I have to. I have to say, yeah, it does. It's amazing, like all the cooking things you need. Like, I ordered a whisk, like a bigger whisk, and it came yesterday. I'm like, well, that was good timing. I needed it like three weeks ago. <laughs> exactly. Well, guess what? Jan said that the Amazon is burning. I told I told Jan and Philip I hope it's not the where the toilet paper warehouse. Please God, no more toilet paper outages. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the worst. No, I think I think everybody has got toilet paper now. Yeah. It's still it's still low. You don't see it every time at Costco oh, or no, anywhere. They're keeping fit. I think they're still keeping And then there's like a limit too, which you can buy you can only like buy one pack or something. Yeah. Yeah. Actually still? Some, some of the grocery stores it was one roll. A limit of one roll. They were individually oh packaged. God. But Do I have not seen our decent napkins. You know, like cloth napkins like Vanity Fair or something that has some substance to it. Huh. What happened to that? I don't know. I haven't looked across And them. most of the paper towels and toilet paper here are off brand. Right. They're not, they're not what you're used yeah. to. Right. Yeah. The Clorox wipes are hard to find. We can't find I, any. I haven't what? found them. Oh, the, 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 I got Lysol wipes uh, from Amazon. Really? Recently? Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, okay. Because for for us, we have to clean every surface at every property now. Oh, we don't even have any. We have. Oh wait, we have a little bit. We're sparing. Only if you you need it for here. Oh, that's awesome. Yay! Great to have you. Great to see you. Oh my God, I missed you. So missed you. Yeah, and again, get my number. I'm used to it. is the one I frequented most. Because we live, we live right there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And we'll be there this coming week. Thank you, Chef Deb. We're hugging you so virtually. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh it's, it's like a little mini vacation. It's going to be sooner than later. And for us to even get to see downtown right now, right. you know, it's like so beautiful to get to just be down here. Take care. Thank you. Oh, thank you.
You're the best. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. Keep on doing your thing. So great. I'm going to turn the camera just for a second. You guys dig into that. So everybody, that was Chef Deborah Scott from Costera. And as you can see, um, I'm just going to share this view with everybody. It is really weird not to see a bunch of boats going under that Coronado Bridge, isn't it? I mean, just super, super strange to see that. Um, so we have some queso fundido, homemade guacamole. Um, they've got the place completely dialed in down here again. All great um, safety protocols in place. For anybody that does live in San Diego, we highly urge you to please come out and dine in and come and see all of our great chefs and restaurateurs that need your business. Um, so many people are open now for business and we're just having a great time and we are quarantining with our neighbor Jan. Say hi, J hang on, I'll switch the camera. Hey, Jan. <laughs> and uh, Philip Fredrickson. Hello. Hello. How are you hello? doing today? So, we're gonna hang up because we've got, hang up, like I'm on a landline. I'm on a landline with like a cord. Um, and please everybody stay safe tonight. If you're protesting, be safe out there. Um, and we all are keeping our prayers and thoughts um, for everything that's going on in our country right now. So sending love, stay physically um, distant while staying socially connected and be safe.